Steam has thousands of free games, so it can be hard to find good ones, but luckily I've done some digging. Here are the top 5 free underrated Steam games you don't know about. Cryptus is a fast-paced boomer shooter where you fight through hordes of the undead. There's a strong emphasis on movement as a large variety of enemies attack you in different ways. There's the melee enemies that are always chasing you, and ranged enemies that constantly shoot projectiles. You'll be using your dash often to dart around and dodge attacks. Health pickups are scattered around arenas too, so you have to keep your eyes open for those. The gameplay loop consists of going to an area to defeat waves of enemies that spawn in before a barrier your lowers allowing you into the next area. As you progress, you unlock more weapons which are fun to try out as each one feels completely different, from the reliable shotgun to more experimental weapons like a sword, the varied arenas, new enemy types, and array of weapons to try out keep the pace flowing. The movement and gunplay is solid, and the game is gorgeously gothic, with each enemy type having a vivid color to easily identify them. If you're looking for a unique looking boomer shooter with satisfying gunplay, then I recommend Cryptus. Unbeatable White Label is a combat rhythm game where a young girl learns songs with her band. Like all rhythm games, you time the note hits to the songs as closely as possible. Here you have a low hit and a high hit, depending on the notes which are also enemies in this case. There's a variety of notes from ones you just tap, hazardous notes you have to avoid, notes you hold down, notes you have to hit once on bottom and once on top, and lastly notes you have to hit multiple times. Notes can alternate coming from either the left or right side, and sometimes both at once if the song gets really crazy. There are 15 original songs in the game that you can change the difficulty of, and they're all rock bangers. Assuming you don't lose mid-song, you're ranked on how well you did, giving you an incentive to go back and improve your rank. Bits of the story are told before and after songs about the protagonist's relationship with music relating to her life growing up. If you're looking for a rhythm game with amazing animations and rock music, then I recommend Unbeatable White Label. The Molar Powell Principle Forward is a first-person adventure game where you uncover the mystery of a failed scientific operation. After a vague but intriguing opening cutscene, you begin your journey through the decaying laboratory. You see situations that only lead to more questions than answers. Sorry, pal. In an effort to seek the truth, you'll move objects around in the environment to progress to the next area, or utilize computer terminals to change things in the environment. Eventually, you get access to a gun of sorts, where you can absorb different types of energy and shoot them out to solve environmental puzzles. The green energy slows time, the light energy can blind cameras, and the fire energy can destroy certain obstacles. The world is very strange, with supernatural oddities taking place tied to the story. The game is mostly linear, as you're guided along along by two voiced companions. Now we need to activate the portal device. An easy job if you can read. Some sections do require more problem solving as you figure out how to get the necessary energy and where to use it. If you're looking for an exploration game with a unique environmental puzzle solving gun and an intriguing story, then I recommend the Molar Powell Principle Forward. Grimhook is a first-person action platformer where you descend into sunken ruins to master Lovecraftian powers and unravel mysteries. You wake up after crash landing and try to find a way to get off the island. You stumble across a companion named Kaya Talia who gives you various new abilities as you progress through the game. You can double jump, launch off the ground, wall run, dash twice in midair, and use your power infused grapple hook to grapple onto both hook points and enemies. You also unlock combat related abilities in the form of a ground pound AoE attack and a grapple move that holds an enemy up in the air, allowing you to grapple onto them. All of these abilities and attacks synergize really well as you chain moves together to zip through platforming challenges or fling yourself around combat arenas. Despite some frame rate issues at times, the movement is really fun and you're always rewarded with new abilities that make you more powerful and fast. If you're looking for a first person movement combat game, then I recommend Grimhook. Rabbit Hole is a challenging roguelike 2D action platformer where you fight through floors of enemies and defeat bosses. Each of the four floors is randomly generated having different room layouts and enemy types. 
You can carry up to two different weapons which are also randomly dropped from boss fights or chests. There's tons of gun variety to try out which keeps the game fun even after getting killed over and over again. I found the melee attack to be useful in many situations since it's hard hitting if you're able to get up close and personal. Enemies drop coins which can be spent in an assortment of safe rooms from a dealer that gives you money for one of your guns, a classic item shop, and a curse room where you can exchange one of your abilities for an upgrade. There are a total of 6 characters to play as but I wasn't even good enough to unlock one since I couldn't make it past the third floor. If you're looking for a challenging roguelike with lots of variety then I recommend Rabbit Hole. Two bonus games. Oh. Oh my they came from a communist planet is a first person riot game where aliens reach Earth to trigger a socialist revolution. You wake up in a depressingly drab apartment where nothing is going your way. But when aliens arrive, people take to the streets to join them in a communist future. This involves you running around breaking stuff while throwing molotovs and bricks at police. <laughs> Not exactly the happiest setting, but if you're looking for a first person revolution game then I recommend they came from a communist planet. Return is a 2D auto scrolling platformer where you take a lost soul to its home. You have up to 4 small jumps to cross gaps or get over spikes. There are environmental elements like flowers that turn on and off blocks or slime that launches you. The level design requires you to figure out how to progress on the fly as the level moves along until you reach the next cat checkpoint. If you're looking for a polished 2D platformer, then I recommend Return. Those were the top 5 free underrated Steam games you didn't know about. I'll have my playlist of free Steam games you don't know about linked in the description as well as my video on free underrated Ichio games. Thanks for watching, give me money on Patreon, and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series.